and another day of fun and learning the basics of just making made easy. Let us start our session with a short prayer. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. We give all our praises to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. Please hear our prayers. Lift us in your loving arms in this time of pandemic. You have said to come to you when we are tired and burdened, and you will give us rest. Allow our hearts to be like you, meek and humble, so that whatever we are facing now, all our burdens and everything that we carry will be light and easy. All this pray, all this we pray, Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, welcome to my fifth episode of Dressmaking Made Easy. I just would like first to say uh, thank you to Miss Laila Padua Estabilio, Esther Montes, Teresa Estabilio, and Miss Ricardo Estrada, and of course Florence Paimola, my uh, students way, way back. Thank you for watching and subscribing to my YouTube channel, Lalin's Project Dressmaking Made Easy. Have fun and enjoy sewing, my dear friends. I am inviting all the students to uh, here in abroad, my co-teachers, my Bahai co friends, and all my friends who love to sew, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And this is my gift to you, and I hope I can contribute to your module writing in this new normal style of teaching. Okay? So I hope this, what I'm doing now, can help ease your mind in creating your module, especially in this area of skills, all right? Now, before I continue with our lesson for today, I would like to go back to our review on the last time that we have discussed on hands pattern making. So this is our front and back pattern that we have, uh, we did last meeting. I told you, to trace one part of this pattern so that you will have two pieces of pattern together for the pants. Alright, I will show you. This is the front pattern which I which we got it from here and this is the back pattern. Okay? So you have for you beginners no for beginners it is advisable to have two pieces of pattern for your pants. One for the front and one for the back. All right. So, in case you're going to cut your fabric, no, especially on fabric that are uh, doesn't have any designs, no, they don't have any designs, you can lay your patterns alternately. All right? You, of course, we always remember we always lay out the biggest pattern first and then we put the small patterns. Now, in case that you have a um, narrow width of your fabric, you just put this like this or lay it like this. Okay? Can you look at it? Okay, so there you go. Huh? This, is, uh, this is only good for fabric that has no design. Huh? But if there are lines, there are uh, stripes, you cannot uh, apply this technique of cutting your fabric. You have to follow the lines, right? All right, so we have your front, and we have the back. You'll see that, you'll notice that the back is bigger and has a longer crutch. And you have the front here, short, uh, shorter crutch, and narrower than your back patterns, all right? So you can put this also in a pilon, okay? Now, for today, we will be talking on the different dart manipulation, no? There are two methods of transferring the darts. We have the pivot method and the slash and spread method. When you say pivot, it is rotating your patterns either to right, to the right, or to the left, depending on the position of the darts that you would like to have. While the slash and spread method, you just design, you just mark 
the new placement of your dart and then you cut that line then you close the dart i will show it to you later okay now before we start i would like again to have our objectives of the day okay I'm the cameraman to focus on the objectives. Now, I am just writing down some objectives for to help also those who are writing their modules. It doesn't mean that you will have to copy or to use this, but I'm just giving an idea because I remember when we make objectives, it is always in the cognitive, psychomotor, and affective. So, ito ginagawa ko. You can use this. You can um, come up with a different wording. It's all right. So number one is to identify the methods of dart manipulation, manipulate the different darts in different positions, and of course to appreciate the beauty of having darts in different places of the dress. Okay? So, so again, I have mentioned for the two methods, we can use the pivot method and the slash and spread method. Alright. Now, today, I am wearing a long dress. Huh? You will notice this is in a V-shaped neckline, and then uh, this is uh, we call this as M5 cut with a top pleats. Huh? Para sa mga tulad ko medyo sexy ang figure, medyo may bilbil ng konte, pwede sa akin ang ganito. Then on the front area here, we I applied pin tacks. Huh? Pin tacks. Huh? Uh, these are small stitches. So, alam nyo yung pin tacks. Pero dito, pleats naman. Kasi medyo malaki-laki na. Hindi na siya pwedeng tawagin pin tacks. Alright? Now, this is this dress is 10 years ago already. No? Uh, I, I wore this 10 years ago. I mean. Yeah, so, meaning, hindi ako tumaba kasi maluwag pa rin siya. Or maybe... I just stopped wearing this and now because of the COVID and I got sm slimmer, I am now able to wear this dress. Alright. The fabric is um, star satin and the lower part is a soft flower fabric. Huh? Of course, with lining. I use Gina Silk as lining. And of course, at the back part is again a magic zipper and also it is cut on that. It will have a dart here at the back. Okay, all right. So we go now to. Um, I will show you now how to transfer the darts to different position using the pivot method first. Okay. So again, we will be using our um, body's uh, pattern which we made on the past meetings. Okay. okay. All right. So this is your All right. So okay. this is our front body's pattern and you we have side dart and waist dart. Now, how are we going to transfer the side dart to the neckline dart. Huh? If our dress, nakita ba sa water? If our dress is like this, blouse lang muna, ha? Yan, nakaganyan. Yan. And, huh? So we have the neckline waistline dart. Okay? How are we going to transfer this side dart to the neckline dart. Alright. Using the pivot method, it will be like this. Okay. Of course, we have to mark first, yeah, mark the placement of your new dart. Okay? And from that area, you trace your yeah, your Blouse pattern, of course, have this like that until here only, no? until here. Okay. And then, using your pencil on the bust point distance, a bust point, 
you have to pivot your pattern to the right. Okay? Kung ito yung inyong tabi, isasara nyo yan, pa ganyan. Ayan. Gets? So, balik ka dito. Ito siya ngayon. Ito naman yan. Ayan. Papunta ka uli doon. Ayan. So, tandaan nyo kung saan ang mark na yun yung dart. Ito sinagito ang dart natin. Okay? Using your ruler, connect now the bus point to your neckline. Okay? And then, dyan, yung ating waistline na mamarkahan natin yung dart. Huwag yung kalimutan markahan yung dito. Ayan. Tsaka yan. Because later, we... Ayan. Connect. Huh? So, you will have now your neckline, waistline dart. So, wala ka ng dart dito. Ang atabs ito, para maging straight, i-re-reconnect mo lang. No? Para smoothong. Ayan. So, this is now your... Okay. So, sa blouse. Tapos, saan magtataka yung ipaparing eh, bundamit. So, ipapasok nyo lang ngayon yung ay nasa baba yung ating... Later na lang natin, idudugtog naman dito yung palda, no? So, what we focus first on, the different position of the dart. So, this is neckline, waistline, waistline, dart. Ayan, okay? So, neckline, waistline, dart. So, ulitin natin, alright? Marka ka kung saan mo gusto ilagay ang position of your new dart. And then, from that point, trace, yan, derecho, hanggang dito. And then, using the tip of the bus point, rotate your, path, your pattern to the right, closing the dart here. And then, you mark again, start tracing up to this point. So, you have here now your waistline, neckline, waistline dart. Okay. Kung halimbawa naman, shoulder dart, no? So, shoulder dart, okay? Shoulder dart. Ayan. Uh, ito naman ngayon. Huh? Again, mark the position of your new dart. Okay, yan. Pwede naman center, pwede naman near the neckline, pwede man near the uh, sleeve seams. Pero mas maganda ko yung ditong side na to para naman hindi masyadong bibilog ang inyong dart. Okay? Ayan. So, ganyan. Trace ninyo. Nakikita ba ako, kuya? Mm -hmm. Alright, trace yan. Yan. Again, tuloy-tuloy tayo dito. Markahan lang ito ating dart. Tuloy-tuloy lang tayo dito kasi ang ating tinatanggal ay side dart. So, side dart ang nililipat natin, no? Ayan. Rotate again and then go back to your marking. Then, trace again. And then, ito. So, again, nasa ng bus point natin? Ay, what's dito ang bus point? We, again, connect the shoulder. Shoulder. Ayan. At saka ito. Ayan. Okay. So, we have the shoulder. Waistline dart. Alright. Mali na ba ang sulat ko? Oh, so, we have the shoulder waistline. Ayan ang design ng dunit. Huh? Focus muna tayo sa position of darts. Huh? Saka na tayo sa mga neckline. Okay? Yes? Then, we have the armhole waistline dart. So, erase natin ito. Kasi yung ating whiteboard ay maliit. So, erase lang natin ito. Tanggalin natin itong neckline. Tawin natin siyang armhole. Waistline dart. So, we erase this. We erase that. And then again, we use our pattern. And... Locate the position of your armhole. 
Ayan. O, teka, lagyan natin mo yung drawing natin. Arm hold. Ayan. Ayan. Ha? So, ayan. Locate the position of your new dart. Ayan. Then, trace nyo yan. So, trace. O, ganyan. Nanggan dyan lang. So, tuloy-tuloy ito. Ayan. Tapos, isasara uli itong dart. Ayan. And then, go back to your mark. So, ganun. And then, ayan. So, again, ito yung dart natin. We connect. This one here. Ayan. Connect natin yan. And then, we connect this one. Ayan. So, you have your armhole waistline dart. Para mahindi tulis na tulis dyan, sinosoft curve yan. Ganyan. Ha? Tapos tatahin ninyo, parang kurbado, hindi yung nakatulis naman. Ha? So, this is our armhole waistline dart. Okay. Front seam naman. No? Usually, ang damit, mayroong this ka dyan muli, makakagano yun. Meron naman tayong tinatawag na Friends Dart Waistline Dart. Yeah. Usually, pag ganito ang dart, yung isa sa kanila aatras. No? Kasi hindi mo naman pagtulog-tulog ng ganyan yung dart mo. Wala naman ganyan design. So, it's either bababa yung nasa yung waistline or aatras itong side at itong bust point ang meron. Nakatapat sa bust point, no? Pero lang sikreto nun, okay? So, so pag halimbang, ay, kinakilis ko tayo, no? French, tatawag natin French waistline. Yeah. I don't know how others call it, but I, I call it as French waistline dark. So, tatanggalin natin ito ulit. Trace natin. Yan. Yeah. So, again, using our basic pattern. Kaya napaka-importante ng basic pattern at tamang basic pattern kasi dito yung kukunin lahat ng design ng damit na gusto nyo. Okay. Ngayon, ito ang ating new dart. Okay? Trace mo yan. Trace ka dito. Yan doon. Huh? Tapos ito naman. Uh, ito yung trace natin ito. Diretso, diretso, diretso. Nakakalito ba? Ganyan lang talaga yung naglalaro, no? Ngayon naman, to the left naman ang rotation. Tapos balik ka doon. At ito naman ngayon ang gulit mo. So, pag ganyan, ikoconnect mo lang ito na diretso. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. Tapos, ito yung ating waist. Kung ang waist, kung yung waist nyo ay gusto nyo nasa tapat ng bust. Ito naman. Ayan, ha? Paba, ayan. Gulit nyo ng ganyan. Of course. Paba kayo ng mga one and one half. Ayan. Tapos, ayan. Ayan, tapos, ganyan. Okay? So, you have your French waistline dart. Kung side dart naman, okay na to. No? Kung side dart naman, okay na siya. Okay lang gagalawin. Alright. Now, how about kung gusto naman yung full waistline lang? No? Wala dito, nasa waistline lang talaga ang dart. Okay? Kahit brito po yan. Dito ko mag-print mag ay mag-drawing. Kung gusto nyo naman na isang dart lang sa waistline, Ayan. Ito naman ay ililipat nyo dito. So, again, trace mo yan. Itong marka ninyo. Tapos, syempre, ito. Ayan. This is how to play your different darts. Using the Pivot method. Pivot method ang tawag natin dyan. 
So, isasara natin ito. Ito. Ilangan So, isasara natin yung pataas to the left naman. And then, go back here. Tapos, ito. At ito naman yung dulong. Ba? So, ito ngayon yung inyong waistline. Ito nga ng waistline. Kita siya, kuya. And then, ayan. Alright. Okay. Uh, ngayon, mapapansin nyo na pakalaki ng waistline. Dark. Ang sikreto ko dyan, para naman pag tinahi mo, hindi siya umbok na umbok. Kunin nyo yung 1 in 1 fourth lang natin dito, di ba? Meron tayong 1 in 1 fourth lang dyan. Na dark. 1 in 1 fourth. At itong sobrang ito, okay, na 1 inch, itataigipat na lang natin dito. Tapos, igagano natin. Okay. So, ito naman, halik siya sa 1 in 1 fourth. Ito. So, mawawala na ito siya. So, we erase this. Okay? <laughs> Ayan. Ganyan. So, wala na, wala na ito ngayon. Ayan. So, maganda uli ang itsura ng inyong basic pattern. Kita siya? Okay. No? Now, yan ang ating tinatawag na pivot method. No? Transferring of the darts to different posi position using the pivot method. So when you say pivot, it is rotating your pattern to different position. Either to the right or to the left. Okay? Clear? Alright. Now, how about if you only want one dart? Okay? Now, if you only want one dart, you will use your new pattern wherein you transfer your dart to the waistline only. Huh? Para halimbawa, kung ayaw nyo ng may waistline dart, gusto nyo arm hole lang, shoulder lang, neckline lang, fencing lang. So, ito matatanggal. Itong ginawa ninyong pattern na transferring the dart to the waistline, yun ang inyong gagamitin. Okay. Tulad nito. Okay. Ito na siya. So, wala ka na ibang dart siyaan. Ito na lang. So, ito yun ang gagamitin mo to transfer this dart to the different new position. Either on the neck, on the shoulder, on the armhole, or on the fence, seeing all the sides. Huh? Yan. Yan. Pakita ko sa inyo kung paano gagawin. Okay, so are we good with this? Alright. So, erase natin ulit. I guess my students who are watching now, naaalala kung paano magturo si Dr. Yosore. Huh? Or, Miss Nombre. I was Miss Nombre before. I started teaching 1981, but my first teaching was in Obada High School. That's why I met Tess Estabillo, Leila Padua, and Miss Esther Montes. Okay, so if if we would like to only to have only one dart, so we will use the pattern with the waistline dart only. Huh? Si ba, nailipat naman natin dito, no? I told you how. So, practice nyo lang. So, if you want, let us say again, ganda ko mag-drawing, no? Ganyan talaga yung mag-drawing si ma'am. Yan, ha? Si ba, neckline lang. Ayan. Yan lang gusto nyo, neckline lang. Alright? So, again, we mark a point here. We mark New area, the area for your new dart. Then, again, trace. Okay. Trace, 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 trace. Okay. Hanggang dyan lang. And then, using your pencil at the tip of the bus point, rotate to the right. And then, go back to your marking. And then, yan. Arm hold. And then, back to waistline, back dito. Right? So, ito 
ko yung ating bus point. Tapos yung ginang bus point. Ayan. So, eto na ngayon ang bagong dart. Diba? Ayan. Okay. So, ngayon po, ayaw naman masyadong mahabang dart na pwede ka magpukulin. Tapos, meron nga lang siyang design, no? Hindi naman, kung gusto niyo maikli lang, ganyan, dito siya magagaling. Kaya lang minsan, ang tendency, pag point-point, tumutuli. Eh, siyempre, kasi parang sa bus. So, iba naman yan, ginagawa lang nila, binibidi lang, para meron parang pumping clips. No? As design. Okay, so this is your neckline, neckline dart. Okay. So, wala na sa waist, nasa neckline na. Kita ko yan? Mm. Alright. Now, how about if it is shoulder? Okay. Shoulder naman. Tulad ng kanina. Shoulder. Okay. Galing-galing na drawing mo. Ganda-ganda. Ganda talaga mga nag-i-sketch ng damit. No? Okay. So, we mark again the position that we want to have. And then this one, trace again. Hanggang baba. Okay. Ganda na headrest ko. So, natuwa na ko sa uting yan. Okay, then again, at the tip of your bust here, rotate your pattern to the right, and then get your shoulder. Okay. And then yan. And then yan. Okay, so dito ulit tayo. Yan. Then again, using your ruler, connect, connect the shoulder to the bus point. Yan. Okay, yan. O, diba? So, wala ka na rin itong dart na dito na sa shoulder. Okay? So, this is the shoulder shoulder dart. Alright. Now, kung gusto nyo naman ng armhole dart lang, okay, sa armhole dart lang, sa so, mag-drawing naman tayo ito, eh. Ang tangit ang drawing ko. So, ang ina ang drawing. Okay. Ganyan lang, ganyan lang. Ganyan dart lang sa shoulder, ay sa armhole. Okay. Again, mark the position of your new dart. Trace mo siya ulit. Pag ganyan. Pag ganon. Okay. Balik ka dito. Yan ang marka nyo. At saan dito yan. And then this one here. Okay. Mas maganda pag ang ganyang pattern ay nasa cardboard. Madali siyang laruin. At medyo matigas ang ganyan. Okay. Rotate. Pag ganyan. To the right again. Back to your mark. Look on this armhole. Sa side na naman. Balik ka na kayo dito sa... Okay? So, ito yung dart natin. Connect ninyo ngayon ang inyong armhole. So, wala na rito na sa armhole na. Now, kung French naman, French sides lang, this is your armhole dart. Pag French naman, dito siya sa side na to. Kita ko niya. Then again, trace mo siya. Trace siya pataas. Ayan. Okay, ganyan. Ma'am Rose, andyan ka ba? Ayan. So, take. And then, dito ulit. Yan. Minsan nagbabago yung rib niya eh. Huh? Yan. Okay? So, dyan. Amorose, kahit pa iwan ang skirt. Kasi baba na doon sa skater ko na yun. Inaalas ko yung skirt. Saan ko na? Ano sa may hintay mo? Okay? And then again, connect that one. Okay. Yan. Yan. Ngayon, pagdating sa ganitong design, Kuya Rika, ganitong design, nagbababa lang ng 1 inch. Yan, 1 inch. So, punin nyo yung center, tsaka ito, i-re-reconnect mo na lang. Ha? Hmm. Okay. Ha? Ha? Etong area 
yan to, okay lang yan siya, medyo tutulis, kasi nandito naman yung bra, yung bus, lolobo pa rin yan siya, so hindi siya, mga, hindi siya magkakaroon ng parang nakatulis lang, no? Hindi siya pa nakapoint, kasi because of the, the bra that we wear, eh, ito, huhulo siya dun sa bilog ng ating bra. Okay? So this is your French dart. Kung may French fries, ang damit, may French dart. Okay? So, this is the pie boat method. Alright? Now, mahirap, nakakalito, okay, practice, practice lang yan, na? So, we are done with the pie boat method, with the neckline waistline, shoulder waistline, arm home waistline, French waistline. And then we have neckline dart only, shoulder dart only, armhole dart only, and the French dart only. Okay? Are we good? Okay. So just send in your comments, your questions via my YouTube channel, and then I will try to answer you. And please don't forget to subscribe para naman dumami ang fans ni Dr. Yosores. Okay? Now, we go to the next method of transferring the dart. We call it as the slash and spread method. By the word itself, when you say slash, we have to cut no? a part of our pattern to get the new dart. Okay? Am I clear, ladies, friends? Okay. Comments, comments for my time. Alright. So... Okay, we erase this. Okay. So we are done with the pivot method. We will be ready with our slash and spread method. we have the slash and spread ganda na sulat ko ngayon ha hindi na ako maganda ng sulat sa blackboard okay so ang slash and spread method actually ay pinakamadali no? but sometimes you always use the pivot method especially if it is a simple design the slash and spread method is applicable for more complicated designs that you need to cut the dart to separate the dart from the figure or from the, the cut the dart from the bodies of your pattern huh? okay i show you one let us say the neckline yeah neckline dart okay so we trace the whole basic pattern and gagawin din sa ganitong style so, we will use the waistline dart only na pattern no? pero naman kayo nagawa na yan okay, marka na rin dito so, yan okay, let's see the bus point alright then, we connect the dart, syempre remember that we have uh, three types of pattern making, huh? we have the basic pattern we have the construction pattern and then we have the final pattern, when you say construction pattern, this is the area where we put our new designs, adjustment and then after everything is done and we put the allowances we call it as the final pattern ready for cutting. Okay. So, if this is a neckline dart, get the desired position that you like. Then, you draw a line. And then, put an arrow. This is again one symbol. When there is an arrow at the end, that means that is where your cutting ends. Okay. So, 
we slash this or we cut and then we fold bubukas yan ano bang ginawa kong sample okay so this is the neckline dart now sa shoulder dart ganun din no? so pag shoulder dart For the shoulder dart, okay, ito yung neckline dart ha, you just uh, put your new line on the position that you desire for, you, for your new dart. And then, you cut this along up to the bust point. And then, after that, we close this and this will open up. Okay. Ang gagawin ko naman itong isa, ito kasi ginawa ko yung sample ng pattern. So, we have the shoulder shoulder dart. Okay. So, ito yan. So, derowing ko siya. Nilagay ko yung bago kong guhip. No? And then, I will show you how this is done. Okay? Alright. Okay, ito yun na yung ating new line. And then, we cut this. Kita, kuya. We cut this along. Yan. Broken line ko lang para makita nyo yung lines. Ayan. Pugupitin natin yan. Ayan. Okay. And then, we close the dart. Ayan. Close the dart. Of course. Ayan. Ito dito pala yung ano yan. Ayan. 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 Ginunting ko siya. At isasara ito. Ayan. Ayan. So, bubukas siya ngayon. Now, kailangan itong center ninyo, ha? Kailangan itong center na ito ay nakatayo sa inyong tela. Huwag niyong ihihiga. Kasi pag hihiga ninyo, ma-off the grain kayo. So, laging nakatayo itong center kasi laging nasa uh, on grain. Ika nga ang ating napapit. Kaya, tara, at ito ay bubuka. See? Now, sometimes we use the cut and spread method, no, the slash and spread method. Kasi gusto natin, yung mga tulad natin, gusto natin ganyan. Ayan. Huh? Pag halimbawa, ginamit natin yung shoulder waistline dart. Para gumanda yung kanyang, yung kanyang pag-join. Huh? Para maganda ang pag-join ng, let us say, gusto nyo ng shoulder waistline dart, diba? Pumuksa na yan. Okay, ganyan. Minsan, pinaghihiwalay natin itong gitna. No? Tapos, ini-spread out. Para yung allowance ninyo rito ay uniform. Okay? Yan. So, pag gusto nyo yung, yung waist, shoulder waistline dart, pwede islas and spread din yung gugupitin nyo lang. Tapos, paghihiwalay yan. Okay? So, this is your slash and spread method. So, again, basic ninyo yung pattern, yung isang waistline lang. So, dito, dito, dito naman ang gusto yung gawin, guhit lang, and then you cut, isara, ito naman ang bubuka. Okay? Okay? So, shoulder yan. Halimbawa, tingnan natin yung armhole, ha? Lagi natin ito ng tape natin. Yan lang, ha? Sa likod ako, kukuha ng scalp tape. Ayan. Okay. Ito na. Diba? Tinate natin yan. Sarado. At we would like to have the shoulder. Pabot ng pangguhit at ruler. Ayun pang ruler. Ayun yun. yun, yun. <laughs> Buti na lang. May mga assistant to the manager si ma'am. Okay. Kalimbawa, gusto nyo ng armhole. Armhole dart lang. Na slash and spread. Marka ka dito. Ayan. And then, aabot ng gunting. Kasaralan natin kasi nagda-dry up agad ang mga. Okay. So, we cut this area here. Hanggang lang sa dart lang. And then, ganyan. 
And then we close. Ito, diretso lang siya talaga. Maintain yung nakadiretso kasi this is the center front. And then you close. Ito lang gagalaw. Okay? Then you close. Ayan. Okay? So, yan ang inyong armhole dart. Okay? Any question? Any violent reaction? Okay. Now, minsan, ang iba, para maiba yung kulay dito, dinay-diretso yung, kasi wala na siya na, diba? dinay-diretso na lang yung gupit ganon. Okay, halimbawa, sige, gupitin natin para kita ninyo. Okay, gupitin natin. Diretso na lang ang scent, ang ano niyan. Okay. Oh, yan. Halimbawa, gusto nyo may design. Okay, ibang kulay dito, ibang kulay dyan. Pag hihiwalayin ninyo, of course, like that. Okay? Magawa lang kayo ng guita diretso dyan para when you lay this out on a new set of paper, diretso lang siya gano'n. Okay? And then that's the time you add allowance. And ito yung sinasabi ko na mas maganda minsan ang slash and spread kasi yung allowance ninyo sa inyong dart magiging uniform. Kung one half yan, diretso one half. Diretso one half. No? Tapos itong medyo pointed na ito, a-adjust yun lang na maging soft. Am I am I'm talking fast? Okay. Again, uh, sa slash and spread, very helpful siya kasi the darts, the allowances that you will put in here will be equal from the top down to the bottom. Ma? Okay, yeah. So, one half dito, one half down. And when you attach this together, yung kanyang allowances are uniform. Okay? So, if you want a separate color, okay, paghiwalay mo siya. And then, ito ibang kulay naman, paghiwalay mo, pag, pag sa kanya siya kayo i-join together. Okay? So, yan ang ating slash and spread method. Maliwanag po? Okay. So, later, we will be doing, or we will be connecting all the different parts to come up with a set of design. All right? Now, before I forget, the patterns that we made in the front skirt and the back skirt, pwede nyo siyang gawing i-hipster, ibababa nyo lang. Pwede nyo naman siyang gawing knee-length knee lang, o kaya yung uh, midi. And then you can also do it in a flaring skirt using your pattern. So ito rin, you can use this and your pattern joined together, makakagawa kayo ng isang jumpsuit. Okay? So we will be, we will be doing that later. Hinay-hinay lang. Alright? Now, very easy ba yung aking lesson today? Okay? Practice playing your front and back body play, uh, pattern and then apply the two method. Now, whatever method, it is alright. It's still the same. But there are cases, uh, there are designs that we ha really have to do the slash and spread method. And there are designs that we can use the pivot method only. Okay? Alright. So, this is all for now, and let us close the day with a short prayer. And I hope that you have learned something, and I hope I have met my objectives. So, let us close the day with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, our merciful and gracious God, give your strength to us, your servant that we may do the task you have given us to teach and help others especially our students to make their lives better and as we live our lives day to day let us seek your face O Lord especially in this trying time for all that we are we give honor to your name and glorify you forever and ever Amen. Okay. See you Saturday for a blouse and garterized short pattern. Para doon sa mga mamis at home na bising busy na, dagdagan natin ang kabisihan ninyo. Gagawa kayo ng pambahay na blouse at saka shorts. Now actually, if you will learn this method, this um, design, you can also make it as your ready-to-wear dresses na pwede nyo ibenta just use different colors now for fabrics pala you can uh, go to Tai Tai maraming mura doon kung pwede na tayo magbiyahe 
or you go to Divisoria, yung aking favorite place ng Desan. Sabi nga ng anak ko, ang, ang aking daw park ay Divisoria. So, dun maraming tela at sa tabi-tabi, maraming mura for practice. Kung wala naman tela at hindi makalabas at dahil nga ay COVID pa tayo, yung luma ninyo mga kumot na hindi ginagamit, gawin nyo yan. I keep telling that to my students before. Kasi pag sinabi mo, wala akong tela, ma'am. So, again, use your curtains na hindi ginagamit. Use your bed sheet na hindi ginagamit. Okay? So, bye for now. And see you Saturday. And again, please don't forget to subscribe to Lali's Project, Dressmaking Made Easy. God bless us all. Thank you.